Hello, this is Green Blob, and I'm here with another very exciting freeware tutorial. Now, today we will be working on basic color keying. Now, just before I go on with the tutorial, you may have noticed that I have been away for quite a long time. It was some copyright issue on my behalf, but fortunately I got through without any bad implications on my YouTube account. It was a big mistake and I can continue as normal. Now let's have a look at what we will be creating today. So lots of stuff going on, basically we've got color keying going on, we've got a nice background in the background. We're not going to be creating the background, that is for another tutorial, but we will be working on today, we will be working on color keying and color correction. So, let's get started. So, I'm just going to start a new project, and I will, in the settings dialog, I shall change the frame width to 1280, the frame height to 720, and the frame rate to 30 as per my video's aspects. And I will also go into the options window and I will change the codec to my favorite codec, the XVID codec. Change the settings and that is all good. So, we have our new composition. Now, let's go over to the Add Media Files button and click it to bring up the Choose File to Add Window. Now, first, we will be adding our source video. So, mine is simply a video of a person, which happens to be me, in front of a green screen. So, it is very basic. Just drag it down onto the timeline. You can find this video on in the sec in the comment section below the video a link to all the project files will be there so just trim the comp down to just maybe 10 seconds and then zoom straight back in again and another thing the wax user interface works a lot like the sony vegas interface i have found and it must have been an inspiration so now we have me in front of a green screen doing absolutely not much except singing like a boy band so let's get started now we will want to firstly mask out this front area of our green screen that will be the second step the first thing we are going to do is use the chroma key plugin so just drag it down onto the video on the timeline to key out all of this green so just use the sampling tool to select part of the green screen and then drag up the tolerance. Generally I don't drag the tolerance up until I've found a good portion of the green screen which is good to mask the rest of it off. So that looks good and we'll just go ahead, no, how about this bit? It's just So we have a reasonable mask there just a little bit of overlay there that is easily fixed. We can just drag down another chroma key plugin above the old one or below the old one and then change the settings to be a different color and drag the tolerance up. That will invert the green screen and then hit the invert button. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, we'll work with one chroma key for this for this for this segment of the tutorial. So drag down the Rotomate plugin. This is for masking the rest of the junk away from the video and drag it down onto the timeline. Now we are going to use the rectangle preset button, change the border width to zero and change the outline color to white. And we will also change, make sure close and visible is set and onion skinning is set to full. Then we will simply draw our rectangle on the desired portion of the video. In my case, it is this portion. And then we will go down to the timeline and expand the Rotomate preset button 
and check shapes as mask. As you can see, now all the rest of the video is keyed out and we only have a singular actor in the middle. Now what I also would want to do is drag down this actor to the bottom so it does not look as suspicious. So we'll drag down the quick 3D preset onto the timeline and simply change the position values. Except, wait, not there, above Rotomate. So change the position values, just um, you can change them manually if you really want to. So maybe I want him in this corner and I'll change the position Y to send him down. No, down. A little bit more. So as you can see, my actor is at the bottom of the view and acting as per usual in the usual strange way. So now, just before we add our background footage, I want to mask out or smoothen out the edges of the mask. So expand the Rotomate preset button once again and change the mask blur to a higher value. So that just mask out the rest. And what we also want to do is color correct this, but we will do that once we have added the other footage to the composition. So go back to the media pool and then click the import media files button and select the other video file, which is called green code promo clips into the composition. Now you can find this in the comment section below in the sample clips download which houses all of the project files including the actual project file itself so just open that and drag it down onto the timeline underneath our green screen so now we have a reasonable green screen and we have our green code in the background just cycling through a normal cycle now at the start we have this weird world looking thing oh is that up here yes so, we are ready to color correct this portion of the video. So, as this is on a layer higher than the green code, this is a non-linear editor, as most of you would know, and it appears higher than the green code in the background. So, if I drag it below, it will disappear as it is obscured by this green code. So, just put it in the front again and we have our clip back to use. Now go into the video plugins tab and use the texture generator video plugin in two dimensions. Drag it down onto the timeline. Now as you can see our clip has instantly got darker. Now texture generator is basically the closest thing to a color correction plugin that Wax has. It has all of these pro all of these options. You have all these post processing options, which are basically waveform processes. So, sort of obs obscurations or random random randomness on the face of the video. Now, what we're going to do is change color one, the value or the color to green, as to simulate the background, sort of a green tinge, and color two to a lighter green and because this is above the chroma key plugin in the plugin stack that means that it will not affect the color keying aspect of the chroma key now feel free to play around with these settings a bit as you can see we have a nice key we got some color correction going on and that should be it don't forget to check out my channel for more uploads and it would really be handy if you subscribed but I'm not promoting it too much so this is green blob and goodbye